Take a look at both of these curves, the red one and the black one. They are not straight lines, they are curving a little bit. And if I tell you that one of them is hyperbola and one of them is parabola, which one is which? It's very difficult to identify in this frame, but I'll zoom out a little bit. How about now? Can you identify which one is which? Still difficult. But in the next zoom, it should be quite clear. How about now? Which one is parabola and which one is hyperbola? Well, the answer is that the red one is parabola and the black one is hyperbola. If you weren't able to figure out, I will tell you a very interesting thing about parabola and hyperbola. The parabola, the red one, let's think about the red one now and let's think about its axis. What's its axis like? Like this, right? The red line which divides the curve into two equal halves. And if you zoom out quite a lot, then you will see that the, the red curve, the parabola, will get almost parallel to its axis. Okay, let's zoom in. Now let's see what happens with the black one. The axis of the black curve is like this, shown in black. And then now, if I zoom out quite a lot, the black curve never gets parallel to its axis. It gets parallel to some other lines, these two lines, these two black lines, which are called the asymptotes of hyperbola. So you sh can notice that I have only shown on the just one wing of the hyperbola because the other wing is here. Yeah, so this is what means when we say that parabolas don't have asymptotes and hyperbolas have asymptotes. Parabolas do get almost parallel to their axis, far away from the vertex.